Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Life Project <laughs> channel and um, today I got a little update of the headquarters I'm trying to upgrade the headquarters a bit to have better space to talk about the ideas make some videos, you know a little bit more sophisticated, cleaner area we don't just barge into the machinery area um, something I've been wanting to do for a long time and now the opportunity and I think this whole thing of making videos on YouTube and that just motivated me to just say okay let's just do it you know so um, I'm going to flip the camera talk to you guys a bit about then I'll get some next will come car content in this video so that uh, it's like a first review of car of a car that I, I've done um, I need to you know improve <laughs> and I promise to make um, better videos improve the quality everything you know because I know that if you guys are wasting time to see the videos, you deserve the best. So uh, I promise to work on that every time I make a video. And uh, let's just get to it, you know. No more talking. <laughs> so this is um, that's where it used to end the workshop, and then I'm going to extend it up to here. So I had really made this foundation. It's all got steel reinforcements, fiberglass with the cement, like I told you guys I always use. It's a big column that I made to put just so that pole there on top of the column, you know, to not come from the floor. Um, so the idea is just to resume, it's going to come right to the front here. I have another door like that at the back. I'm going to take it off and make a sliding door out of that folding door. So, a lot of cool little ideas, you know, cool stuff that maybe you guys would like to see as well. Let's get a bit of everything. Uh, this was a carport that's going to come to the front, so we'll have more space maybe to get uh, another car. I'm um, still not sure if I'm going to trade one car for a different car, so uh, we'll see what we're going to do. Um, according to all this... Um, According to the videos we're going to do and reactions and everything else, we'll start deciding what to do. Um, so basically I'm doing all this more for the contents of the videos and everything else. It's been motivating me to to just uh, push on, <laughs> you know. Um, not just work for work, but work to do something that I enjoy and share with people, you know. And um, let's see what happens. <laughs> So um, I'll keep upgrading on this project as well. This will be another project. Try to always mix up the videos a bit. These are these old machines I have to recoup. The gas bottles are also going to leave here. They're going to go outside as well because this was the outside and now it's the inside. And um, got a lot of cool ideas to do with all these things, you know. And that's about it for now, you know. Don't have much, much to show here. Um... It's also a very simple structure, just using tube, um, just tighten it up to the foundation because the foundation is very strong. So the foundation I know it's not going to go anywhere, it won't crack, it won't, nothing will happen because I build it. <laughs> um, so I think maybe it will be ideal for someone if they want to do it, so I don't want to do concrete walls or anything. I want something that can be removable, you know, or changed, or modified, you know, in case we have to. So, yeah, let's keep on updating this. And um, hope you guys are enjoying the contents of the videos. And I'm going to pass to the course content, um, just like I was telling you guys. And uh, do not waste your time. <laughs> Because time is precious, and even watching videos, I know your time is precious, guys. Uh, like I said, I keep doing my best to make you guys happy. <laughs> okay, so let's pass to the next car. So finally, in a beautiful place here, to film the Jeep and show you guys this beautiful machine. So we already restored the whole um, the whole Jeep, uh, like I showed you guys on the previous video. We made new seats, brand new seats. They fall down. Show you guys. Originally, it doesn't have even seat belts, so we even fitted new seat belts. There you go. 
So, originally it doesn't even come with seat belts. So we arranged a way to put seat belts. These chairs were made brand new. Okay. It's got roll bar all around there in the front. Comes all the way here to the back. And goes down. Okay, so it's all supported at the back and the front and then it's a test between the front and the rear. Okay. So super safe. We got our speakers, surround system, and in front we also got our Kenwood speakers. That's my tool bag, it's got all the tools that the Jeep needs, a uh, sun protection visor, and um, we got here the triangle, so the only thing is that there's not like, there's not a trunk, so you can't really stash things away like, <laughs> okay, but um, normally I just put this here, and the uh, anti-theft bar. Just in case someone tries, you know. <laughs> so the anti roll bar is also connected to this steel frame here and goes all the way down there. So it's super safe in case of um, it rolls over. And this was from the kids playing around in here. The kids love this car. And uh, yes, yeah, pretty cool. Got these side windows here. Panoramic windows like Safari style, which are very cool. It doesn't have aircon, but it's got hot and cold wind. We've got our little map lights here. Can fit eight people in this Jeep. Sorry for the camera bouncing, but I have to get in and out. <laughs> Don't have a camera, man. Uh, we've got three seats plus three seats gives six, seven, eight. So it's legally eight seater, which you don't find a lot in Jeeps. Eight seats. Um, all this is also upholstery, new. The sound is excellent with these surround systems. Actually, quite a cool trick. Use home surround systems for the car, and you'll find that you'll have a sound that you don't have normally with normal speakers. It's just a different experience. So the carpet was new, even the back got new upholstery. It was all painted up. To put a new spare wheel because this one's quite old already but I have to get a light one I don't want to put nothing that's the same as this one that is too heavy um, new tires new all the differentials got fixed up I mean everything's just 100% on this chip new paints really cool these little bumpers here are too, so that when you put the whole hood on top it can go against the window just lay down against the window you can work on the engine this was also made okay on purpose for the car so the um, someone to make me this little place here with the make and um, yeah pretty cool now I just want um, I just want to change this grill so this grill was bent on purpose so that you can put your hand to open the latch of the hood but I'm going to have another grill already that is straight. Cool even to show you guys. Um, underneath here we got uh, old man emu. Steering wheel for all four wheels as well. So it's all well equipped. Although it's not going to do off-road. Because it's too rare and good to do that. <laughs> you know. I can't do off-roading with this car anymore. Got new cubes, new brakes, new everything. So we really went um, full on this restoration. Just these screws are temporary. I already got new ones to change. Because uh, normally I do the maintenance on the cars, which I'm also going to post on the contents of the videos. 500 old church here in the background. Uh, little river, trees, very nice in the videos of the cars here so that's about it for this so we're going to take this one out for a drive today has been driving for a bit that you get when you have um, many cars you know just go to like now and then take them out for a spin the roof is just uh, simple it's just got all the these perf perf lumps you know to give it like strength 
that's all original as well so I just wanted to share with you guys this Jeep that is very unique and very hard to see um, here in Portugal we still get some of these I still have to cover those wires there of the speakers in front yeah there's this one have to cover that up um, that's the only thing I have to do on the Jeep otherwise it's all good to go you know just a collection item for me never gonna sell this um, we get ARB also for the traction and uh, just done all these little improvements modernized it a bit you know just to make sure that everything's good uh, wasn't cheap but that's what it is if you want to have something like this for a collection car and it's really worth it I still was lucky because I got them got it cheap when they were cheap now they just skyrocket um, a bit in value so right now I wouldn't buy one so it's a good thing I did at the time um, that is dirt up there it's not rust don't worry guys I have to clean that so after this came from the upholstery and painting I haven't really washed it yet I have to wash it now uh, I just wanted to make sure everything was all right, you know. Give the okay to the mechanic and all the guys that were working on this. Took a long time, but uh, there, you, there you are. There you go, guys. That's the UMM. That's the first car I'm going to be sharing. I'm going to be sharing all the other cars here in the same place, and uh, for you guys to check out get some different I want to see if I can always get some different content on the videos you know got the little air scoop there and yeah quite cool very very nice car if anyone gets their hands on one it's really worth it guys and for future collection it's worth it thanks guys for watching thanks for supporting church which I will not say where it is okay it's my secret hideouts place to make the videos for the cars now <laughs> see it's so old it doesn't even have windows it's like really old old school um, building so I'll show you the date just to prove that it's really really old you see that's the date right there guys see I wasn't lying <laughs> so then I'll be showing you guys a bit more about this location and uh, more content it's really cool i think it's a perfect place to start shooting our videos for car content and um that tree is actually falling down there eh? it's crazy <laughs> uh, now we're gonna go no music just go through this trail a little bit show you guys put the seat belts on Very cool place. There's a lot of nice places to go. And Portugal, there's a little river down there. So, got my always my phone supports on the calls. Even got a little light. <laughs> Used to have a light at the back over here somewhere. Never had it in this car. So I always carry all the tools I need in case of an uh, emergency. And this is um, one of the, this was the latest model that they produced in this, um, in this ship. And they just produced one car as a prototype. They never end up manufacturing it because of um, geopoliticians and laws and uh, the fact you couldn't keep on maintaining it's all on the internet you know about the history of this ship see we've got a river here so they're actually saying danger zone right here this is me <laughs> they were like waiting for having a big contract but they didn't end up getting it the manufacturer so they just pulled the plug never made another jeep again so this is a real classic and uh, I 
think it's only going to always go up in value with time because it's getting harder and harder to get them that's where actually I put the little salamander I brought the salamander here this is actually the 2.5 diesel it's got turbo diesel and uh, with the intercooler so um, it's got a new turbo on it uh, everything reconditioned and um, it actually drives very well and much more power than it was when I bought it I mean this was really lacking of power at the time uh, it really needed a, a boost you know <laughs> so right now it's just um, the suspension is, is just great very good suspension old man emu recommend to all everyone that wants to put it in the jeep and uh, even the new tires help a lot they're a little bit bigger um, this is like a little old village we went through it's really like uh, just do what you want while you build it <laughs> so um, it drives very very well and um, I really got surprised the way it's maneuvering and everything so old man emu suspension a great recommendation this new turbo is also excellent the, these engines they go like for 400,000 kilometers it's a Peugeot 505 2.5 turbo diesel so they if you search it out you'll see it, uh, it's got um, very good reviews in terms of mileage um, I had a lot of friends that used to own Peugeot 505s and they just used to do whatever they wanted with those cars and used to go and go for it. So it's a car that you invest in and uh, you know you're going to have for a long time. You know? You're just going to enjoy it for a very long time. It used to be very very bumpy and everything in the beginning. If you buy one original, you aren't going to like the way it tries but if you do mods a little bit of mods but keep it in original states that you can still enjoy its value and the comfort you know? the comfort is just such a big difference in this car such a big difference this is not original I have the original gear knob I just changed it for this one so I could adjust the height which is excellent for me it was a bit too low it's just so much comfortable with this gear knob and uh, these are all original, so the original gear knob was a bit like this plastic. I have it at home. And um, it's just a, a great car to drive in. Excellent. I don't even feel nothing on the road. I feel much more with the Citroën Saxo that has a V12 bull sign. That is hard. <laughs> but this is just like, uh, it's like you got the clouds on the wheels. Eh? Okay everyone, so I hope you enjoy that content, um, I know I have to improve my skills, okay, <laughs> I really do, and I uh, started the video here, we'll end the video here, uh, let me just turn the camera and show you guys a bit of the improvement. Okay, so we got more steel tubes on the structure, as you can see, on top. Um, at the side in the front as well for the vertical panels as well and we have the frame for the small door okay so we are getting there still uh, a lot to do but uh, just keep updating like I told you guys I would looking pretty cool it's always nice when you're doing the project and when you're starting it you know once it's done you just like get that feeling that okay it's done you get used to it but um i always like this like uh, beginning you know of the projects during the projects it's like just you put you just push your brain you know creativity it's just uh, you always remember those parts you know the hassle the fights you know the pain <laughs> Um, after it's done, then you look at it and you're like, okay, that's nice, but then you just get used to it, you know what I mean? Uh, it's like having something new. First day, second day, you're like, wow, you know, 
after a week, after two weeks, after a month, it's just like, you know. <laughs> but always be grateful. We have to always be grateful for whatever we can do, accomplish, and get, you know. So, um, and I'm grateful for you guys for looking at the videos, okay. I could have no views. At least I have some, okay. And that's good. I'm very, very happy, motivated. I'm going to keep on making more videos. I'm working already on the next one. And as uh, soon as possible, I'm going to up, uh, upload it and get it onto the channel. So, today I'm going to upload a video. It's this one. And I'm really working on the next one. And I'm um, going to put some new content, okay. Um, mix it up a bit. And you guys, just surprise you guys. You know? <laughs> um, so, thank you guys very much for everything and um, see you guys on the next one out